All right, in these couple of video tutorials, we're going to be looking at working with the clipboard inside of Photoshop. Now I've got a few sample images set up here on my desktop. I'm just gonna show you quick previews of these that we'll be working with. You can go ahead and find some of these images in the Flickr Creative Commons search or pull some of your own stock photography. All right, now to start out, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this picture here of this window. So I'm going to right click here and say open with Adobe Photoshop. You can just say file open and pick an image as well. And you'll notice right off the bat that this image is large. It's pretty high resolution. I'm currently only viewing this image at 16%. So if I zoom in all the way to 100%, you can double click the magnifying glass to zoom in at 100%. You can see that definitely this is a nice high resolution image. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply create a simple marquee around an area inside of this image. So I'm going to come into one of these broken out window panes here and just use my rectangular marquee tool here to create a selection. So I'll just start up here in the top and click and drag down to the bottom. Now while you're creating a selection, if you hold down the space bar, you're able to move this selection around. And then I can let go of the space bar to sort of re um, can continue selecting here. So I'm just going to get a rough selection inside of this window pane and let go. Now right now, this is just a simple selection. A selection does nothing more than just lock down those pixels. Now we're going to look at working with the clipboard, so we're going to be copying and pasting and cutting and, and pasting into new documents and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command C. Now that is just under the image command you'll see under the edit menu rather, and there's the copy, cut, and paste. So I did Command C, which is the copy command, and now if I was to create a new blank layer here, and I'm going to deselect, so I'm going to click inside of here or press Command D and I'm going to paste. So again, that's under the edit menu, down to paste, or you can just say command V. So I'll just say edit paste here, and I'll paste what I copied into this new layer here. Now you can see this new layer simply just has that little selection that I copied from the old layer. Anytime you have a layer, I'm going to hide the visibility on this background layer. Anytime you have a layer and you have a, uh, some transparent pixels around it, if I want to reload the selection around that individual object, I hold down the command key and click on that layer thumbnail to re-select that or reapply my marching ends. All right, now I can command C to copy and command V to paste. I'm gonna undo those steps. So I'm gonna go in my history panel here. I'm gonna go window down to history. I'm gonna back up just a couple steps here. So we'll back up to where before I made that paste command. So back here to where I've got this uh, selection here, right at this point right here. Now you can also hit Command Option Z on the keyboard to back up. That's how I usually back up with a keyboard shortcut. Now if I select this area with my Move tool active, you'll see that I get this little scissor looking icon right there in the middle. Now if I click and drag at this point, I'm actually doing a cut command. So if you have an active selection, you click and drag, I'm cutting the existing pixels out and you can see they just get filled with the default background color here in your in your foreground and background palette. And then once I deselect, I've applied that command and now those pixels are now part of the larger document. I can't move that because this is a background layer, so I'm going to double click that to get rid of the background layer to convert it to a regular layer. And now you can see that that's I've, I've repositioned those pixels. I haven't cut that area out, it actually got filled with white. All right, now that I've applied that simple command, I'm going to show you the difference between moving and cutting from the background layer now that we have a regular layer, moving and cutting from regular layer. So I'm going to just quickly draw a selection here again and note that I changed this from a background to a regular layer. Now when I get my move tool, I come in here and click and drag this, you'll notice that it now fills this area with transparent pixels instead of the background color. So depending on the layer type, different thing will happen in Photoshop depending on the, the uh, marquee tool you use there. All right, now the power in Photoshop typically comes from its ability to create layers. So I'm going to go ahead and make a selection here and copy out. I'm just going to drag a rough selection here around these little bricks right down here. And I'm going to hit Command Z to copy. And I'm going to deselect. I'm going to create a new layer here and hit Command V to paste. So I've just switched to my Move tool with the V on the keyboard. And you can see I've got this little new layer that's sitting up here. Now, if I make a selection, 
note that I have that new layer active and I just drag a big marquee around this area and I copy it will only copy what's on that layer it will ignore all these extra pixels around here because technically they're transparent so I'm gonna apply the copy command create a new layer deselect and paste and you'll see that I get the exact same thing I'm gonna undo that step so command option Z and this time I'm gonna leave my marquee active and this time I'm going to apply what's called the copy merged now the way to think of copy merged is it's basically whatever you see on the screen is what's going to get copied so in this instance if I do the command shift C that's the keyboard shortcut there for copy merged it's going to not only copy what's on that layer but also all other visible layers so I just applied command shift C I'll create a new layer here deselect and paste and now you can see sure enough I copied everything that was underneath that selection not just what was on that individual layer so that's the difference between copy merged and regular old copy all right let's look what happens when we take a layer and we move some of its pixels outside of the document bounds our canvas here so I'm going to just delete that layer 3 I created and I will go ahead and delete the layer 2 as well and this layer one here is this little piece of uh, rocks here that we that we the bricks that we copied out so in Photoshop you can take a layer and you can move it outside of the canvas bounds meaning this line right here now those pixels are still active because if I move them back in sure enough they're visible and if I move them out they're just sort of hidden or masked away now there's a couple ways you can actually delete those pixels outside of your canvas bounds so one is you hit command A to select everything in your document and you say edit crop and what this command will do sorry it's under image image crop what this command does is it deletes all the pixels that are outside of your document bounds so now when I deselect with that layer selected and I move those pixels back in you can see that sure enough they're deleted out and they're gone forever now I'm gonna undo that so I'm gonna hit command option Z there a couple times to move back before I applied that command that crop command so now I've got those pixels back I, I went back in the history panel there and now I'm going to move this out and let's say that you actually want to see those pixels out there there's a command you can apply to be able to see pixels that are outside of the document bounds and it's called the reveal all command and it's underneath the image menu so if we switch up to the image menu come down here to the reveal all command let's go ahead and apply that command you can see that Photoshop will extend your canvas size to show you the pixels that were outside of that so that's one way where you can see those pixels All right, and the last thing we're gonna do in this video is show you what happens when you paste into an existing selection now I've sort of destroyed this document quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and revert this back to its original so file revert will put this back to the original JPEG and I'm going to bring in another document so I'm gonna say file open and I'm gonna choose a picture here from my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the, uh, the background here this one right here with the ocean so I'm gonna go ahead and hit open on that one and now I'm gonna jump back to this document I'm gonna make a selection just in the inside areas here of this window pane I'm gonna do this really roughly so I'm just gonna get the quick select tool and just kinda of come quickly in here I'm gonna hold down shift while I select the inside of these panes so I can get that content Let's see how well this selects those all right now that's good enough for me so I've just sort of selected the inside here let me get this bottom corner of all of these window panes so I have an active selection now I'm gonna come over to this document right here and then I'm going to make a selection just in a random spot here we'll just kinda of select this area and I'm going to copy so command C so I've copied that now to my clipboard I'll jump back to this document and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to paste but because I have an active selection it's only going to paste those pixels inside of my marquee area so here I go command V and we'll paste that you can see there that it actually did not paste into there I actually applied the wrong command I'm gonna hit control Z here yeah I have to apply the paste into command so it's under the um, edit paste I'm going to say paste special it's paste into so this time I'm gonna apply the correct command here and you can see that it pastes only into that selection area now of course I did not get enough pixels in this image to cover the full window so I'm just gonna simply resize now I'm gonna click this layer and on my con 
keyboard command T is the key for resizing those pixels and I'm just going to scale this up a little bit scale this down to fill that entire area and apply that transformation and now I filled that window with something else in the background so when you have an existing selection you can paste those pixels into that area by doing the paste special command